and losing one to two kgs be as simple as taking a one week vacation to a mountain town in today's video let's take a quick look at that and find out i'm currently in cusco peru this is a city up in andes mountains 3400 meters above sea level this is the first leg of our two-year journey around the world I knew that being at high altitude, I'll be losing weight fast. So to prepare, I was actively working on putting on some fats over the preceding few months. What I did not expect is how fast this fat loss would be. Hola, this is Anmol from Big Green Monkey bringing you your weekly dose of health and fitness content specially catered to vegetarians and vegans. In today's video, on a side note, we are shooting in a hostel lobby, so I apologize for the noise in the background. We'll look at one German study from 2010 to look at why it happened and how you can achieve the same results safely. For a 2010 study by University of Munich, a small group of 20 sedentary and obese men were brought to an elevation of 2650 meters for one week. They were permitted to eat as much as they wanted but weren't allowed to do any exercise apart from leisurely walking. After just one week, they lost an average of 1.5 kilos. A month later, once the group returned to their low-lying communities, they effectively maintained a weight loss of 1 kilo. There was no significant change in muscle mass and the water level in the body remained fairly consistent. Thus, majority of this weight loss was a result of reduction in body fat. This weight loss was a result of many factors. Reduction in calorie consumption. At high altitudes, as a body is acclimatizing to low levels of oxygen, it prioritizes oxygen delivery to critical organs like brain and decreases the delivery to digestive system. To successfully achieve this, it naturally increases the levels of leptin a satiety hormone and decreases the levels of ghrelin, a hunger hormone. What this effectively means is that you end up feeling less hungry and thus eat less food. In this study, the participants on average ended up consuming 734 fewer calories each day. Participants were even able to maintain this decreased calorie consumption even when they were back at sea level. As per another study looking at Han Chinese people, these effects can last for up to 5 months. Increased Metabolic Rate Metabolic rate is basically energy usage per unit of time. Our body burns X amount of energy every given hour just to sustain body functions. At a higher metabolic rate, your body will burn higher amount of calories in the same given hour. In the participants, the metabolic rate increased by 15.2% after 7 days of being at the high altitude. And even after being back at the sea level for 4 weeks, the metabolic rate was still higher by about 2%. Thus, you are effectively able to lose weight by doing nothing extra. Isn't that awesome? Increase in red blood cells and hemoglobin. To capture the limited oxygen, our body naturally increases its concentration of red blood cells and hemoglobin when at higher altitudes and it achieves that in the first couple of days. Once you are back at sea level, it can take your body up to two weeks to get rid of this excess red blood cells and hemoglobin that it doesn't need anymore. You will feel very energetic and very easily be able to exercise more than you previously would have been able to. And thus, you continue burning calories after your trip. This is actually so effective that often Olympic training facilities are built at higher altitudes. Contestants stay at this high altitude for a few weeks just before the Olympics such that when they are back to lower altitude on the competition day, they are able to perform much much better. I will cover this in more detail in a future video. In the study, the results were achieved without increasing the amount of physical activity when at the higher altitude. But for most adventurers and tourists, visiting a mountain destination means either skiing, hiking, or even just walking up and down through the streets of the city that you are in. 
when you include that, you can very easily lose more than 2 kilos of weight in just one week of your vacation and sustainably keep that off once you're back to your home. All this being said, high altitude acclimatization can be very difficult and even deadly for some people. City of Cusco has only 67% of the oxygen compared with that available at the sea level. So be careful, especially if you're planning to go above 3000 meters. It is always advisable to go up to high altitudes gradually. So maybe take a bus or a train instead of a plane directly flying into your destination. Talk to your doctor before you go and he might prescribe you acetazolamide or Dimox, which increases your blood and tissue oxygenation for the first one to two days of your arrival you should just take rest as your body acclimatizes. Although some evidence supports mild exercise like brisk walking to aid with acclimatization. But be careful, heavy exercise just on the day of your arrival can be disastrous. To summarize, taking a one week vacation to a mountain destination like Cusco can definitely help you with your fat loss goals. This is because you feel less hungry so you eat less and your metabolic rate is increased so you are able to naturally burn more calories. And with that, we are done with the video. If you didn't know yet, Melody and I have started our travels around the world with a goal of continuing it for the next two years. So let us know in the comments below if there is some mountain destination that you would recommend we visit in your country. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube to get weekly health and fitness content just like this. If you would like to see more of me in my daily one minute video, uh, feel free to follow along on my Facebook and Insta at anmolmodi360. Otherwise, we'll see you next week on this channel. Adios.